uh, this is the series of programming interview questions and the questions are on binary search tree which are asked frequently by many good companies so let's see so the today's question is the first is find the minimum element in a given binary search tree so find the minimum element in binary search tree so this is a question so generally what's the property so let's first look at the binary search tree so here I am having a tree like we have a 10 which is at the root then we have inserted 20 which goes to the right then we have a 5 which goes to the left subtree then again 2 comes and gets inserted here 15 comes and get inserted as left child of 20 so now let's see so which is the minimum element here so we can directly find here by seeing that it's 2 but how to find out this one using a function or C code so let's little bit examine so one thing that we see is that in a binary search tree the left child so the left child is always less than the parent so this is the property that we will use and what we will do is that we will go to the root then we will go to its left child which is lesser than the root then again we will go to its left child and if now it there is no left child of this element or this node then this will be the minimum element so here the minimum element is 2 so similarly if we were asked to find out say something like max element so what we would have done is from the root we would have traversed to the right child then again we would have tried to go to the right child but because this has no right child so this is the rightmost element of the tree and this is the maximum one so this is quite easy so now what we will do is we will see how to do it using iterative method and recursion so we will try to solve it using both recursion and iterative method so let's see so if we see here the code so first we will try to look into the iterative method so this is the min value iter so this is iterative method to find the minimum value so we pass the root to this one and then what we do is that we make struct node star current so we make a current which is a pointer to the root element and then what happens if node is not null so let's say in this one we had let's say if we have something like 10 20 and 15 5 and 2 so we come here and what we do so if we make current is equal to this node which where the root was passed and if node is not null which is not null here so what we do is while current so we assign current to this node itself and now what we do y current left is not null so we will make so this now current points here and current is equal to current left so now it will point here and this will keep on going till current left is not null so after this one what we see is that if current is here so current left is null so it will stop here and then we will return current data which is 2 so this is the way this is very simple there is a check if node star if node is not equal to null if this is a case when what happens is that if the node is null then there will be no element at all in that so this is the code and what we see is that this will return the minimum element so and now let's look 
and even we can make a bigger example of tree so let's look at the one bigger example of a tree so let's say we have something like 150 20 60 10 5 and then 1 so let's try to see now the recursive program for this one so what happens now is we have a recursive program so we pass min value recurs so we pass with min value using recursion and we pass the root pointer in the main so now root is pointing to this one and while node is not equal to null if node is not equal to null so root is not null here so if node left is not equal to null so now what we do is if node left which is this one if it is not null so what we do we return min value recur node left so now this pointer to this is passed again to this min value recur and again it comes here so now this is the node pointer and what happens is again we check if node left this one is null so this is not null so what we do again we call min value recur with this function so now min value recur is called with node 20 so now what we see that again node is not equal to null and node left is not null then again we call with this so min value recur node left so now this is the function it is not null again we come here so we see if node left is not null which is the case we return min value recursion of node left so we come here and this is not null now so we again node left is also not null so we go and return min value recursion or node left so we come here and now what happens is node left of this is null so we return node data which is 1 so we return a 1 so this is minimum value using recursion so now what we will do is we will try to run this code and see what is happening so let's try to 